Today we are trying out two new binders. These are from For Them. They were kind enough to send these over to me to try. They have no idea I'm making this video. I'm not obligated to post about them in any way. So I'm gonna give you my like actual real first impressions because that seems helpful and also fun and like something I wanna do right now. If you're new here, hi, my name is Iris. I am a non-binary fashion content creator and more importantly, person. I have lots of videos comparing different binding options on my YouTube channel if you wanna check them out. So first off, we have have their regular binder. I looked up this brand and the reviews from a lot of people were saying that they aren't the most compressive effective binders so I'm curious about that. I actually kind of prefer a slightly lighter amount of compression because it's more wearable for me. I believe there's room for range you know in binders. First off we have their regular binder in the black color. My initial first impression of this is that the fabric feels very nice and soft so that's great. The seams seem kind of thick, if that makes sense. Like it seems like they aren't going to lay completely flat. And for the most part, all of the seams are pretty covered on the inside, except for the bottom seam. So we'll see how that feels in terms of like the sensory experience. And this is the one that is slightly less compressive. On one side of me, they're ripping up the street, and on the other side of me, they are installing a bathtub. It's just, it's a lot. I'm gonna keep making the video anyway. You're gonna hear the construction noises in the back, and we're gonna live with it. So this is their regular binder, and then they also have the Binder Max, which is their like more compressive version, which I think they made in like response to a lot of people saying their regular binder wasn't super compressive. So this is what that looks like. This is the white color. Very cute. What's it called? It's called Chalk. Very cute. I wonder what the name for the black one is. It's called Midnight. And they both came in these reusable bags, which I find, <laughs> just hit myself in the face. I, I find these good and cute. And I like using these for like undergarments when I'm traveling to like keep them kind of like separate and safe. So glad to have some more of that. So this is what the Binder Max looks like. Once again, we have this kind of like thicker seams that I'm a little concerned about. This is like the same material. It's very like smooth, soft material. I actually really like it. Kind of reminds me of the material that's on the back of the GC2B binder. Let me get it. This is my GC2B binder. The fabric of these definitely reminds me of sort of the, the stretchier panel fabric of the GC2B binder, but this seems like a little less stretchy. And there's also two layers of it. So let's try them on. Okay, so <laughs> let's begin with the regular binder. I'm just gonna take off my shirt. It wouldn't be the first time, probably not the last either. This is my regular bust. I don't know if I'm lying to myself. I might be kind of lying to myself. I feel like my chest like got a little smaller. Not the point of the video. Let's put this on the first. I'm also gonna try it on with this white tank top so you can kind of see a vibe with the shirt. Let me just head to the changing room. I feel like you can wear it both ways. I need to look at the website to see which side's the back because it doesn't have a like tag. <laughs> There's nothing down here, I promise. <laughs> nothing nothing interesting oh, oh it's definitely a binder. I'll, I'll say that. It's immediate deodorant stains. Okay, so I looked on the website. <sighs> My neighbor's dog, I swear to God. It's okay, everything's fine. Here's my situation. It was a little hellish to put on. The bottom band was like hurting my arms, but this is extremely comfortable. I feel like I could comfortably wear this as a compressive option. Like I can definitely tell it's like, it is pretty compressive. Like that's that's effective, is it not? Like that's, that's a great, that's great. That's pretty good. Okay, so I wanna pop in with a little update here. I wore this binder for like a full six or seven hours. I went to a friend's birthday, we went to the club, we danced and it was great. I was very comfortable the entire time and it really did take until hour six or seven. I think it was seven hours. It really took until the end of that for me to be like oh I want this off my body I like went through a whole night out with it on and really enjoyed myself I don't know if I could have worn it again the next day after just because like that that reached my limit on binding for like a couple days but it really served its purpose it made me feel confident and all of the good stuff the scoop neck was also great because I wore it like under a dress and it still looked really cute I believe that you can wear it both ways I saw that with the binder max on the website it's a little unclear to me so I think you can wear it with this side forward as well I'll ask them and see, oh, you'll have your answer I can feel a little tightness around the shoulder loop but otherwise like I'm actually very, very impressed by this. Let's see how the straps are laying on me. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's very bulky. I would say they kind of like got stretched out 
when like with with it being on my body and i'm not noticing this bottom scene on the inside being uncomfortable so very comfy i think what i saw online is that maybe these binders stretch out over time a little more quickly because they are kind of mostly stretchy. Most binders have sort of this like thick, less stretchy fabric in the front. And this seems like a binder that was just made with the stretchy fabric to be extra compressive. And honestly, that's something I've been looking for. Thank you for them. This did a very good job for me. This is definitely like at least as effective as like all the compressive sports bra options that I've shown in other videos. So with the regular bra, I definitely had more of a boob shape going on here but with this it's a lot more compressed also i didn't give you the context of my boob size i'm 32d also good for this honestly this shirt does a lot but on its own my first impression of this is extremely positive like i'm actually a little surprised because i saw some reviews that weren't the most positive but i really like this and i actually do see myself reaching for this if i need some compression if i'm using a binder normally i wear my zipper binder y'all have seen this before that's great for me because it's easy to put on but now that this is on this actually feels pretty comfortable and i like that i actually have a little more free up here because it feels less suffocating in a sensory way if that makes sense feeling good about this i also feel like it's very flattering like I feel cute. It feels like compressive enough where it's like giving me a hug, but not like I am now worried I can't breathe. I can take a deep breath in and it doesn't make my boobs hurt. Like I don't feel like I can't do that. Like I feel like like it's stretching with me. That's very comfortable. I feel like that's not really true with my other binders. Like sometimes I'm a little like, I don't really feel like I can do that. And you know, it could, it could always be the sizing on my other binders but i bought all of those according to my measurements and according to the website instructions and i also did that with this so that's part of the review <sighs> yeah like i can breathe <laughs> you slayed with this one <laughs> This one is supposed to be more compressive. This is already pretty impressive compression and it's also higher coverage. You'll be able to see that. Putting on and taking off binders is oh, one of my least favorite things. Also got chapstick on this one. Uh, okay. Almost got it, guys. I believe you can wear both of these both ways. That's what it looks like on the website. Okay, here's the, here's the max. Let me adjust the boobage. Also, just FYI, when I'm adjusting my chest in a binder, I actually like don't move my chest like all the way to the side or like up like some people do, just because like I don't want to stretch out my tissue that much. It might look different depending on how you adjust your chest because I don't tend to adjust my chest in like the most flattening way possible. Just FYI, I just tend to like move them up so they look a little more like pecs. Something to think about. It's gonna look a little more visible because this is a white binder instead of a black one. Dark colors hide more shape. If you wanna learn more about like how to hide your chest with and without a binder, I have a whole YouTube video on that where I talk about color and clothing fit and all that kinds of stuff. To me, this looks like it's about similarly effective. On this one, I definitely see the thing that I was expecting to happen on the other one with the seam. Like there's some rippling by the seam. You know, that would depend on like if I had a wider rib cage, it would be fully flat on me. This is also very comfortable. Little tightness around the armpits, which I, I think is universal in binders, but really just not that bad. Let's put the shirt on and see what's up with that. This also is doing a very good job. I think maybe even slightly better than the last one. Might just be because this is white under white and that's so like the colors isn't standing out. I would say it's like pretty similar. Maybe a little bit better. But I, I think it's I think it's pretty similar. This is like I mean this is the fact that I would get if I was wearing any binder. Like this looks very comparable to my other binder. If I were to compare between like the GC2B and this one, I would definitely pick this one. The GC2B binder, I don't like it. <laughs> It's just like not comfortable. It's not very sensory friendly and this is way more comfortable Which is definitely one of my priorities. It's got a tag on the outside and there's some text here about like wash details and Just for you with love in New York City. Ah, that's where I am right now So I'm gonna keep you updated about wearing these I think I think I'm really gonna enjoy this this summer because it's a little lighter a little stretchier a little more comfortable But still does a pretty good job of compressing me and that's what I'm looking for <laughs> For me like I want my chest to be flatter of course, but I also really care about comfort because I just can't do it with these crazy binders. And this fabric feels very like, it doesn't feel like I'm gonna overheat. Like I feel pretty comfy even in the slightly higher coverage one. Between these two, I think the 
regular one is my favorite. Thank you for that. I'm really excited about this, actually. So, good job. We'll see how much they stretch out because some people did say that can happen. I don't see these like not compressing me anymore after they've stretched out a little bit, like maybe a little less, but still being pretty effective as like, even if it kind of leaves binder town and enters compression top, I'll have links to my various other binding videos in the description and on the screen or whatever. If you're thinking about getting a for them binder, maybe this is your sign to like do it. I literally like, I'm not obligated to say nice things. I'm not obligated to post about this. So I'm actually very happy that I'm excited about a new binder. Very happy. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Nice.